This is the final in this series. I've been talking about future trends. We've got two richest men in the world <laughs> with their shirts tucked in playing tennis. They caught some trends. I'm going to talk about three future trends. And I'm giving away a thousand bucks. So I've been doing a series for the last five days. What? This is investor episode. My Ty Lopez investor show episode 23. Who needs a little bit of money? Who needs a little bit of knowledge? Give them a Eric Flores goes, give me money, which automatically disqualifies you for getting money. Anybody who's like full vocabulary <laughs> consists of give me. I caveman. I give money you. <laughs> um, so three biggest trends, three biggest future trends. Yard, you and I already missed some big ones. What's some big ones? Let's look at the past for a second. You've got Uber is worth, let's say, over $100 billion they project for their IPO. We have, let's say, Tinder. Everything that ends in er. Uber, Tinder, Tinder. Oops, I wrote Tiner. It's a new variation of Tinder. It's 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 Tinder without the D. <laughs> it can be for ladies. Ladies who like ladies, they don't want the D, so they're not on, they're on Tiner. <laughs> uh, somebody said, Ty, you've been babbling on some of your live cows, and I'm like, that is true, but I still like to do it. Um, okay. Uber hasn't made profit yet. Well, <laughs> it has for the shareholders. Travis, the founder, I, it's funny, I went to the World Series this year and we're just randomly sitting there and noticed that we're sitting next to the founder of Uber. And uh, he's made a profit. See, the founders make profits, even when the company's not profitable, because the value, there's two ways you make money. One is in a ca on a cash flow basis, and one is on an equity basis or an enterprise value basis. The enterprise value of Uber has gone from, at, at some point, is a million dollar valuation to 60 to 100 billion. So I understand that you don't fully, some people, because of the modern world and the modern education system, don't understand finances, but things can be successful without being profitable. This is mind blowing for people to realize, I get it, but it's just, that's how it is, man. Like really, if you can't beat it, join it. That's a good saying. Now, Tinder, Uber, Tinder, what's another er? I was gonna say Netflix, but it ruined my, it ruined my er thing. Justin Bieber, how about that? That's, he caught a trend. Justin Bieber was the first real artist to come up through social media. And he's arguably the biggest musician of our time. That came from, so Bieber, Uber, Tinder. And then we've, we switched to the Xs. Netflix. What's another X business? Twix, the candy bar. <laughs> Is it a trend? Isn't that owned by Mars Bars? Someone said, Ty, the marijuana business is expected to be a $500 billion trend. Yeah, you got marijuana, CBD. They're still somewhat regulated, so it's, you can get in. Yep, cannabis is one. CBD is one. Kratom has been one. There's a lot of, there's a lot of angles to the, but I was just trying to find things that are er. Now, let's talk about future trends. I want to talk about future trend. Someone said, Ty, you lost weight. I did. I got, a, we launched a hemp-based protein shake. All you people who like cannabis and marijuana, we launched uh, like a year ago. I actually had a scientist make a protein shake just for me. And then I bought, had to buy so many to have it done at the manufactured. And then we turned it into a business called Lean 67. Some of you might be on it, but yeah. Magnus Volan said, Ty, 
I might hit 10 grand this month with e-com, drop shipping, close to 500 orders. Thank you, Ty. Well, thanks for being a part, Magnus. Oh, Twitter is the other er, but I, I, that's not as good of a trend as these three. Twitter's an okay business to own. Sure, it made the founder a billionaire, but okay, so let's, that's the past. What's the future? Someone said, mentor me, Ty, and I'll work for free. All right, 100 bucks, $100 to whoever's been paying attention. And I said that what company has had no profit but has made the founder a lot of money? This is a simple one. It was just on the page right up. Hundred dollars. I'm gonna close. Hundred dollars. See who's paying attention. The hundred dollars. Here we go. Da da da. I'm gonna give it a second because everything got to catch up here. YouTube. Let me wait. How's my lowly Twitter live doing? Really? Well, I mean, they answered the question. No, how many people are on there? It's like four. One hundred and sixty. Usually I have like 2,000 on YouTube and 1,500 and 2,000 on Instagram and I have like four on Twitter. Okay, first one I see, I'll just go with Twitter here. Aztec Beats. First one I saw, Aztec Beats. A-Z-T-E-C, Beats, B-E-A-T-S. Beats, Bears, Battlestar Galactica, $100 for you. Twitter, where you at? Don't worry, I still got $900 to give away. Someone said Uber, 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 they don't pay taxes. That's true, you can't, it's harder to tax smarter people. That's what the government has trouble figuring out. I mean, you can, and rich people should pay taxes too. I'm not saying, I'm just saying it's a little harder. Like France raised taxes on millionaires, they, they actually charge you to be a millionaire, you had to pay extra taxes, and 12,000 people, millionaires, just left France last year. So that's what I was saying, you gotta be, you know. Kim said, the office quote, David said, you're my ideal. Uber, they tried to diversify too fast. I don't think Uber is very diversified. It's pretty much a car company. You mean into too many cities? Tesla, what's another la, uh? But I want to talk about trends that you guys can do, not just these rich guys playing tennis with their funny shorts. We should get, I'm going to get, if I ever meet those two, I haven't met them before. I'm going to give them jorts to play. Zach, where's your jorts? <laughs> I threw them away. You threw your jorts away? I gave them to a dude that was asking You used to have jean, I remember I when you had jean wore, shorts. I never in my life wore jorts. You never had jean shorts. Never. I vividly remember you yeah, think, with blue jean jean shorts. No, yeah. I'm nice. telling you, I hated those things. Always hated them. They're was that redneck. Was that Eric McDonald? Maybe I confused you with. You both kind of look the of, same. Uh, lots of people from my town. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> who here wears jorts proudly? Jean shorts. Um, Campos said, "What are jorts? They're jean shorts." Like. These are not jean shorts, but anyway, here's three trends that I think you should take part in. So, two of them you already know, they're obvious. The third one is a new one I've invented, so just bear with me. You got e-com, e-commerce, you have social media, And $100 if you can guess what the new phrase that I've come up with, I don't think it's ever been used. Maybe it has, but I've never heard it before. So you're hearing it right here. Social commerce. That, my friend, is the future. And I can show you why and I can prove it. Social commerce. A lot of people are doing e-commerce. It's almost saturated. A lot of people are doing social media. It's almost saturated. It's not saturated, but it's more saturated than it was. I started with social media, really focused on it in 2014. Uh, 
I started in e-commerce and online in 2001. So I was one of the first people to the online game. Jeff Bezos was before me, 94. I was he's older than me. I wasn't able to do I mean in 94 you needed 100 grand cash to build a website. I was not he's older than me so I did not have that ability to get in in 94 but I got in 01. End of 01, beginning of 02. Social commerce is the trend. I'm gonna prove it to you. What's created the first, well, not just the first, but what's created the youngest billionaire in history? Anybody know? Who is, $100 to whoever, the self-made youngest billionaire? Who, 100 bucks, read them out to me. Um, who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Snapchat. No, you gotta say Zuckerberg. who, who, not? Jimmy Bimmy? Jimmy Bimmy? Yeah. <laughs> Some... Who said that? Um, a Akbarian on Twitter? A double A. Twitter, you're just, we're giving away money on Twitter, okay. We're gonna come back to you, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner was the first. Think about that. She was the youngest. She was basically 20. Now, right around now, she's valued at a billion dollars, all from social commerce. So my question is, how are you taking care, taking part in the social commerce revolution? E-commerce is how you sell. Social media is how you get customers. You merge the two. You know, a lot of people ask me, what do I do? Oh, Ty, like, I see you. You're like, I'm like social commerce, baby. <laughs> I know it's hard for people to figure that out, but that's, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. And you need both. Somebody said Evan Thomas. Who's Evan Thomas? You mean Evan Spiegel? That's the, Yeah. People get confused on these. Hold on one second, sorry. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys something. Um, I, today there's a little confusion of when I'm closing the Amazon course, okay, which is all e, it's an e-commerce meets social media training, four month certification program, Amazon sales blueprint. Here's the deal, because everybody's all over, can't tell where I am. They didn't realize I'm in New York now. So when I said this closes at five, people got all confused. So as long as it's Friday in the United States, you can get into the Amazon program. At midnight, California, I'm not counting Hawaii right now, midnight California time, I'm gonna close it. I was gonna close it earlier, but people got all confused on the time zones. So Amazon sales blueprint, which is the simplest way to get into the social commerce game. I'm gonna be teaching the social media part, me and my business partner, and, and then the, the Amazon e-commerce part will be taught by, um, I'm flying in about seven teachers that I know, seven people who actually do Amazon. So if you wanna learn this, I'm closing it for real. Like some sometimes in the past, I've just raised the price, I've done partial scholarships. This one is just done. You'll be out, you can't get in, okay? Catch the trend, let me, I'm gonna explain it. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of things today, but believe it or not, I have other stuff to do besides being here. Okay, I'm happy to be here. A man with a wooden leg too said, Ty, I was definitely the first to call it right with Kylie Jenner. First one we saw, man. A man with a wooden leg too. I have a hard time taking you. You can't, you cannot, Expect people to take you seriously <laughs> when you're like, hey, at a man with a wooden leg too? <laughs> like, how do you have that argument with somebody? <laughs> Just imagine if people wore their name, like their name, social media name as a little name badge when you're walking around. I tell people, pick a decent social media name so that if your social media goes viral and blows up, you're not, it didn't go viral around a man with a wooden leg too. 
Was there a man with a wooden leg on YouTube and you couldn't get it, so you had to add the number two? Is this a hot in-demand name? And have you all met? <laughs> have you guys, Zach said, and have you met? <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Let's go through how to do this. Let's go through. By the way, this show is like more entertaining. If you want, people go, Ty, we want you to just teach, teach, teach. I already do that in the paid programs. 285,000 people in my paid programs. I do that, but if I'm just going live and just having fun, I just have fun. So if you wanna know, if you want exact step by, this is like a show. It's not all serious. That's why I call it the show. It's like the Ty Lopez show. It's not the Ty Lopez training program. People are very confused on that. Someone said, Ty, do you know what the biggest trend is? Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, million dollar business ideas, selling flip charts to Ty Lopez. Abby Mika said, your show is very entertaining. I'll tell you, that brings up a point. A great way to do social e-commerce is to do what I call edutainment. You see? Something that's educational and entertaining. The problem in the modern school system, it's boring. You want me to get up here and teach hardcore? See, people don't think I know hardcore business skills. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I was a CFP for 10 years. That was like the most classically trained financial planning. I can explain all kinds of fun. You want to talk about employee benefits? You want to talk about ERISA? You want to talk about HIPAA? You want to talk about the four P's of business? You want to go through business administration course? I'm not going to do that on here. Um, so, but I could, but it's boring. And most people are not interested. Somebody said cap rate. Somebody tried to expose me and said, what's cap rate? And I said, it's like ROI, but it's for real estate. It's the term for real estate. And they said, ha ha, I caught you. And I said, that's how stupid this person is. The perfect way to explain what cap rate is to the masses, which I have on my social media live streams, is ROI. Cap rate and ROI are not identical because real estate has cash flow, right? So sometimes you do ROI is a little different. It's like the difference between ROI and IRR. IRR is similar to ROI, but slightly different. Cap rate's the same thing. So all you people, you do not want to have a battle of the wits around finance with me. I will, I'm glad to embarrass people. You, you can try to edit a video and rechange it around to make you look good, but if we post the whole video, no. You know the funny thing, Zach? When I was 16, I wrote a letter to the smartest person I know. I knew at the time, and I said, you know what? You know so much more than me. Will you help me through life? Life's complicated. And the person wrote back, and literally I remember they wrote me back. It's when I lived on Barnsley. Remember that in Raleigh, North Carolina? I wrote a letter. I walked out. I put it in the mailbox. I was an old guy. And he wrote back, Ty, I'm sorry. I don't have the energy to do this. I'm in my 80s now. And I remember being all dismayed. And nowadays, I, you, what I wanted, I now know. And people take it for granted. I'm not saying I know everything, because sure, certainly I don't. I have a very narrow scope of expertise. In a broad world, at best, you're very narrowly an expert. There is no person who can be an expert on all facets of life, or business, or law, or accounting, or HR, or psychology, all these things. At best, you pick a few things and you create deep domain expertise. But the things that I have deep dem domain expertise, I have 20, 30,000 hours in them. And it's mind-blowing how few people appreciate smart advice. And I'm going, dude, I'm giving you this for free. I spent 50 million of my own dollars to learn this the hard way. You ain't gonna value that? I mean, but the exciting thing is, a lot of you guys do value it. And you have such an edge on this planet Earth. Correct a fool and they will hate you. Correct a wise person and they will love you. And there's so many people 
that hate to be corrected around the subject of money, nothing makes people more emotional. People go, Ty, I Google you and there's like people who love you and people who hate you. I'm like, because I talk about very sensitive things that they threaten people's ego. Because if what I'm saying is right and you've spent your life going this other way, then in a sense, what I'm saying is an accusation, even if I don't mean it that way. And so smart people go, well, crap, man. My whole life, my mom said she loved me. My dad said she loved me. My teachers said they had my best interests at heart. My pastors, preachers, imams, whatever, had my best interests at heart. But they didn't prepare me for the most fundamental things in life. And here's this random dude on social media taking time out and sharing about financial security. You think this stuff I'm saying is wrong? You don't think the e-commerce trend is big? I got in on it in 2001. You don't think I gained an advantage when all my friends went to college and got their BS degrees in Spanish and this and all that stuff? You don't think it's given me an advantage? Not only financially in life, but in my freedom, in my happiness, in my social life, in my ability to travel. I'm not pushing myself up as a perfect, I'm no saint. I hope people know that from my social media. But what I'm saying is, what is the deal? with people being diametrically opposed to those things that will help them. I heard Kevin Hart one time, he said, people block their blessing. Why? You try to bless somebody with something that you're gonna have to spend 10 years learning the hard way. Or you can just listen to someone else and people block it like, oh, what is this, a scam? Well, you already been scammed. You're so deep down the rabbit hole, you think you're in reality and you're not. A whole different reality exists out there. So I hope each of you thinks about it. If you get bothered by somebody saying something you don't know, is it because you're like what Einstein said? The thing about smart people is they sound crazy, weird to dumb people. Are you on the dumb person equation of that? That's an equation. This equals this because of this. Smart people seem crazy. They seem like scams to dumb people because dumb people don't have the IQ. It's not even the IQ, they don't have the common sense. You don't need high IQ. In fact, some of my best students, in fact, most of my best students are those people who do not do the best in school. But they got street smarts. And with street smarts, you can get a long way in life. If you add a little book smarts, on top of street smarts, now you're really talking. Let me give you some practical examples. So let's talk about, people have been saying, because you got, what do you got, less than five hours left? You got like four or five hours left. I'm gonna have this program open. It's a four month certification training, okay? It's four month certification. We'll show you the e-commerce, how to get up on amazon.com, how to start selling this month, even if you only make my first Amazon check. They didn't even cut me a check because it was below the threshold for them. It was $4. I looked two days ago. I looked back. I started being an affiliate on Amazon in December 2013. December 2013. And that month I earned $4. It was very slow. But then I began to use edutainment. So I created a book site, a review site. I made, I, I began to talk about books and begin to post to my Instagram. And my Instagram was small back then. We're talking two, 3,000 followers, that's it. And then when you add that, that creates the customer base. That creates customers. Edutainment, meaning you're educating people. I was educating people on books, but I was also doing it in an entertaining way that schools weren't doing. Then you create your funnel, okay, or we could call it website. And in this case, I didn't even build my own website or funnel, I just used amazon.com, okay? And then you learn how to grow and scale. And, but remember, it starts here. And the reason the youngest billionaire in history, Kylie Jenner, by the way, Kylie Jenner's makeup line, okay, she made more money well, it took Maybelline and Revlon, these big makeup companies, 50 years to do what she did, what Kylie Jenner did in one year. 
And it's not just because she's a Kardashian, because not all the Kardashians have made as much money as Kylie, who's the youngest. Okay, none of them have made the money that Kylie has. None of them have a billion dollar brand that I know of. I'm not an expert on the Kardashians, but it's because she used edutainment in a way to drive people to her website. I remember her Google Analytics. She broke her credit card page. So many people visited her site. She actually broke Google Analytics, which is insane. To break Google Analytics is beyond, beyond, beyond. <laughs> I don't know if anybody could do that. She created a lot of edit. Now remember, her market was women, right? You're selling makeup. I mean, there are some guys who wear makeup, but 90% of her marketplace is women. And so she wasn't doing sex stuff to get customers. She was putting the makeup on herself in an entertaining way, talking about her friends and her dogs and all this stuff. She used edu edutainment. She was educating people on how to use her makeup line then she would drive her customer base to a website. She didn't use Amazon. She was big enough that she had her own website. But a great place to start is Amazon because they'll build a website and host it for you. And then she grew and scaled. She had to get more inventory. I think she was shipping out of Canada. And I've seen her. She made $13 million on her birthday in, I think, 45 minutes. How'd you like that? For, who wants that birthday present? Who wants that birthday present? 13 million. Zach, what would you do with 13 million on your, on your birthday? Uh, I don't want to go on record. Don't say, <laughs> don't say, I know what you're going to say. H and B. H and B? H and B. Oh, <laughs> no, What, well, Zach? I your live stream. I wouldn't admit to that. <laughs> H and B. If anybody can guess what I'm talking about, that's what Zach would do with $13 million on his birthday. What's the most anybody here has ever gotten on their birthday? Somebody said, me! Somebody just wrote red crab. This dude is already on coke. There's nothing on my entire live stream that has warranted red crab. Maybe that's what he's saying he wants on his birthday. Or, but what is red crab? I've never heard of red crab. Have you ever like been at a restaurant? Oh, sir, what would you like? Some red crab? Is that a real thing? Red crab? Blue crab. Red lobster. Red lobster. Oh, they got confused. <laughs> they wanted crab and red lobster. They blurred it together. Somebody said hookers and blow is what H and B stands for, Zach. Zach said it, not me. Um, $500 somebody once got on their birthday. $200. Someone said they got a gift voucher for Walgreens. That was from Ron Burgundy on YouTube. I got dumped. What's the investment she put into it? Zach said you had it you took a dump? I got dumped. Oh, he got dumped. <laughs> Never know with Zach. He's a Leo. Never know. Someone thinks H and B means Holland and Barrett. <laughs> a clothing is that a clothing line? What's Holland and Barrett? No, I've Zach. Never heard of it. Someone just wrote, brah. Birthday, probably like a bike. You know, I once want easy. Uh, easy come, easy go. I once won $100 in the lottery. It's the most money I ever had. My grandma was going through the, line, the grocery line in Ralph's in San Diego, and I said, Grandma, get one more ticket. I feel it today. And I won 100 bucks. And I remember, like, my mom did not have a lot of money. She gave me, I think I got paid $10 a month um, for chores and stuff. So I got that $100, my grandma gave it to me. I went off and I bought a Huffy bike. I remember, what kind of bike could I buy for $100? Well, it wasn't a good one. I rode it to bike to school, because I used to have to walk to school pretty far, like a couple miles. I rode that thing to school. The second day, someone stole it. I was kind of in a ghetto area. I was so pissed. I was like, I got my bike. I was telling everybody. <laughs> then the next, I came out, and I think they cut the chain. I had a chain on it. Someone was chopped a chain for a hundred dollar bike you dismiss it as a hundred dollar bike but clearly someone, but won. someone said that they would buy hair and booze that's what you would buy zach h and h &B. b yeah <laughs> zach is on a hair devin knight says he made 15 grand on birthday night really devin knight. one of the guys who works for me used to be a male stripper so yeah Okay. 
All right, next, let's do a practical example of this. Just to be clear, you have five hours, four hours left to go to the links below. It's right there on your screens. Or you can just go to tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. It's a four-month certification program with about seven different teachers, myself, six or seven other people that I know have actually made money on Amazon, okay? Training you step-by-step, step, even if you don't know what you're doing, how to get started in Amazon, with Amazon doing the new technique called social, um, social commerce, social e-commerce. A combination of the two biggest trends, e-commerce created Amazon as a trillion dollar company. Amazon is a company that's a combination, I'm sorry, Apple is also a company that does, does a lot of e-commerce. They do offline too, but they're a combination of e-commerce and um, offline. This is the first trillion dollar company that's just pure e-commerce. Although Amazon now did buy Whole Foods and they have a few stores. Most of their sales are happening online. That's why they call it e-commerce, electronic commerce. Okay, Ty, let me get Zach's hair for 500 Thai bucks. Lee Hilliard, did you print out the pictures of that person on Instagram that made you happy every day? Remember that guy yesterday? That guy posted more pictures. What the heck was his name? Now, anybody who writes a, na this is a good thing each of you should do. If anybody ever writes a nasty comment on your social media, look who they are. It's all, when you look at who they are, it all makes sense. Normal people don't have time to be mean to random people. Um, E-commerce and offline, physical sales. Yeah, the ghost guy. <laughs> Ty, yes, but don't you have to buy, good question, Lee Montoya. To sell on Amazon, don't you have to buy a whole bunch of inventory and then ship it to Amazon? If you want Amazon to fulfill from their warehouses, obviously you have to get them the product. The answer is yes, but that's only one strategy to make money on Amazon. There's about four ways you can make money on Amazon. One is to be an affiliate, sell other people's products, and they give you a cut. That's what I've done since 2013. I never had to have any inventory. Not, they had the inventory. You, if you link to those women's shoes, that's women's shoes right there? Zach, it looks like something you'd wear. <laughs> I've seen you in some loafers like I that. man. No, not that. Does that look like women's clothing? Seriously, right there. Those are men's dress shoes that are pink. It says women's shoes, though. Some of you got the little pictures mixed up. Because when I click here, because I go, I want to see that, I don't see them anymore. Uh, on the left. Oh, here, loafers and slip on. Is these common shoes for women right here? I mean, they may be. Zach's wearing those right now. I could see Hillary Clinton wearing them. You said Hillary Clinton wears those? Suits or something. Remember, what's the thing that the comedian said about Hillary Clinton's pants suits? I don't remember. Oh, wasn't it Dave Chappelle or somebody? Uh, Let me see if I can find this little comedy clip. Hillary Clinton pant suits comedian. I feel like every comedian has now like been banned so there, is, there are no more comedians left to be funny. <laughs> Anytime they're funny, they get kicked off. Yeah, it's probably one of the comedians that somehow the media has canceled. Uh, let's say you want to sell. You, if you're big on Easy Spirit Women's Travel Time Mules, you, if, you have a, if you're a woman or a man, you could review on your social media. Do a funny video with that shoe. I would pick a different, that's a damn ugly shoe right there. Who likes that shoe? That looks like the worst Yeezys ever designed. Combined, look at this one. Sonic Woman's Donna Crochet Loafer Flats. Just shows you how much stuff people buy. The taste of humans is unlimited. You could do women's reviews, uh, shoe reviews. If they go from your social media, click on an Amazon affiliate link, come here. Not only you get paid on this, but you get paid if they add other things in. That's why I went from making four dollars as an Amazon affiliate to making around eleven thousand a month. It's been a very smart. It's been less than one percent of my income over the years, but in terms of profitability and time spent, I made one hundred sixty-one thousand 
in three hours of work over the last five years. I did all the work on 2013. I, I mean, maybe I've spent a couple hours since then updating my book reviews. Um, Court, Stuart Hislop said, dreadful shoes. Courtney Vega said, if Crocs can exist, I can't blame, <laughs> I can see these existing. These are bad. Um, okay. So that, it, you do not have to have your own inventory to start on social media. I mean, on Amazon, doing social e-commerce on Amazon. You can start with other people's products. Now, in the long run, there's more upside potential of selling your own product. But beyond selling your own product, it's even more important to do brand. Now, how, what could you do? Let's just pick a different subject. Look at these shoes, $119. Sam Edelman's Woman's Lorraine Loafers. Woo! They are number 229, most popular woman's loafer. I just, I wasn't aware of the woman's loafer market. I gotta pay more attention. Is that a big, Sperry? That's Amazon's choice. Zach, it like you like that? Hippie. They look like hippies. You can see women in Portland wearing those. You can see women in Portland, Oregon wearing those. We've now offended the entire Portland, Oregon audience. That was Zach. Um, oh, yeah. Crocs are more effective than condoms, someone said. Okay. Someone says it's what nuns wear. Nuns wear those? I guess so. Nuns wear Sperry women's seaport penny loafers. Wait, I got to see this. Man, the thing about e-commerce, why you should learn it, it's actually fun. It came up none loafers and loaf of bread. So apparently nuns, okay, I gotta put in Catholic nuns. That is creepy. That is what comes up, Sam. You can put that outside someone's door on Halloween. Wow. They are wearing loafers. Those look like more like nurse shoes, though. Right. Zach, is that going to be your marketing angle? <laughs> no. You're going to do a lot of viral videos with nuns? <laughs> no, I've been banned from the Catholic Church. Zach says he's banned from the Catholic Church. I heard LaCroix is water trickled off fruit. Really? Okay. The reason I'm just showing you this is there's 300 to 500 million products on Amazon. People go, is, is Amazon saturated? I go, I don't think so. Look at all the stuff people want. Now, let's look at the opportunity. Sperry, I think, is a fairly well-known shoe brand, right? But Payless Shoe Store just went, being well-known doesn't matter anymore. Let's look at Sperry's Instagram. Does Sperry know how to do social e-commerce? Yes or no, before I click there, who, who votes yes, who votes no? Who votes yes? Who votes no? That Sperry, a massive brand, knows what they're doing with social commerce. Zach, what do you say? No. Sam? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I go, I'm changing my you case. can't change, Zach. Oh. Zach's locked in. I say guaranteed no. I've never seen a brand do well. Okay. First rule, always have pictures of faces. I, Foot Locker are going to go broke because they do only ads of ankles. People tried to argue with me on this. I posted this like two months ago. Ty, it's a shoe brand. Supposed to post feet. Okay. Uh, what about Nike? What about Nike? Do they post faces? Let's go to Nike because Nike's popping. Nike's one of the biggest brands in history. And in terms of brand loyalty, let's look at Nike. Let's just look at Nike advertisements. What is wrong with shoe brands? I swear that. Look, Nike had this Colin Kaepernick stuff. They don't even have below the neck in here. Don't argue with me on social media, marketing and branding. No, do not. This is something I know and I've spent 50 million plus of my own dollars. Unless you shelling out money and testing things, you don't know what you're talking about, really. They don't know what they're doing. This is, watch, 1,600 likes. They have 297,000 followers. Let's look here. One comment. Oh, they're really popping on their social media. 
This is probably the CEO's secretary. He's like, yo, can you comment? We got zero comments. Let's see what this comment says. Dilmer official. I just had a look at your photos. Your perspective is normal, but composition is great. That's not even an English sentence. They got some Filipinos commenting for them. Your perspective is normal, but composition is great. Tell me what that means. Nothing. Let's see this video. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Sperry, I am loyal to your brand. Look at Nike, just like Nike crushes. You'd think people would be smart enough at Sperry to look over at Nike and go, okay, Nike big, we small. <laughs> like, I'll use caveman language. Nike bigger, we smaller. Sales bigger, we small. What does Nike do? Um, ankle shots are not compelling. Look at this one, they almost got it right. They dropped in a picture. Almost could have had the man's head. They're like, humans, they never heard of eye tracking software. Humans look at eyes. Babies at one month old begin to track eyes, eyes. They don't track some hipster 97s. Look at this little hipster book here. I guess their market is hipster. Zach, if I ever become like that, throw me off the top of this building, you please. Want a leather -bound journal? I want a leather-bound journal while I have a gourmet coffee with a forecast, God knows what this is, with my glasses like this, <laughs> with a bit of Grey Poupon on. This is just the worst marketing in the world. Look at this. It just, it's also, okay, so they got 2,000 likes. Promise you these aren't even real likes. How many comments? Let's see. 10, woo, don't get too much engagement there. A whopping 10. You wanna see engagement? Let's see engagement. Let's see people that know how to do it. Let's, see, let's look at Rihanna. Rihanna made, she sold 250,000 pairs of her shoes in 18 minutes, okay? Does she know social commerce? Does she get engagement from fans? Does she just post her ankles? I love this picture. She just posted this picture. It's just, it just, it's a good picture. It's, it's got 70,000 comments. Now given, she has more followers, but there, it's real, man. Rihanna's real. Look at this, straight up, right in the eyes, 10 million. Your eyes can't help but look at Rihanna. Have you guys seen, I interviewed Rihanna on my YouTube channel. You guys might have seen it. This is social e-commerce. Sperry is in the dark ages run by old people that don't know, that will be replaced, maybe by you. Stupid people are running this, stupid. I know that's blunt to say, but you gotta call a spade a spade. Just no savvy, no sense, nothing. Sperry, if you're hearing me, you can ban me from all your stores. <laughs> Correct a fool and they'll love you. This is free advice. I charge a million bucks a year for one-on-one -on -one consulting, so I'm giving you two free trash your social media strategy, archive every post you have here. I bet you this one almost did better, but you still didn't show her face. Yeah, 2,600 likes. Here you go, you finally got one right. You finally got one right. People love flashback things, 11,000. Did you ever do a flashback again? Let me guess, nope, trash. So you, even when you get it right, you're not smart enough to do it twice. So people say, Ty, Amazon is saturated. What, you, who are you? Don't be coming with your white belt opinions into a dojo full of black belts and act like you're cocky. You can come in with the black belts. I'm not saying I know all things in marketing, but I'm not a white belt. So stop with your comments. Ty, you're teaching people Amazon and it's, um, and it's saturated. Saturated with this? I want my competitors to be like this. This is like if you get in the boxing ring and the dude over there hasn't worked out in 10 years. You're like, woo, bring me more. Let's box more. Well, this is a one punch knockout. This is bad. Sperry since 1935 is gonna say Sperry RIP 2019 or 2020. You think this brand's gonna survive? Not like this. Maybe they'll do a turnaround, you know? But this Riri, this is, how social, this is how shoes are gonna be sold. This is how brands are gonna be launched. She's a billion dollar brand. You should look at Nike, it's exactly the same. They're uh, 
Oh, Instagram. Yeah, let's look at Nike Instagram. And this is the sad thing. I told you, people don't even listen, even when it's right in front of their face. Sperry could spend 10 seconds clicking on Nike, which is popping 84 million followers. Okay, ankles? Oh yeah, this is a great ankle pick. Nope, no ankle pick. I don't even see shoes in these. Look at that. That's a good, that's, it's decent engagement, 3.7 million. You got Irving and that's Ray Allen, isn't it? Is that Ray Allen or who is that? That's Ray Allen because they're in Boston. When's the last time we played it? No shoes. You see, Nike, go read the book Shoe Dog. Free advice. Go read the book Shoe Dog. By the way, this is the kind of stuff that I'm going to be showing you in the program. You know, I'm, this is the things that I'm going to be teaching you guys in the program. Learn this stuff and you will be head and shoulders. I am not a white belt. You ain't going to be learning from a white belt in marketing. And you, my business partner is going to be in there too. He and I have done one billion in online sales for our own companies, not as an agency. One billion. And we spent 500 million on advertising. Okay, so this is, this is, I'm just giving you gold for free. For those of you who want to go through a four month step by step training, I got that too. But it's going to close in four hours and six minutes. When it strike the, the clock strikes midnight in California, since some of you were confused what time zone I was in. I mean, look at these things. 7.8 million. Serena Williams. Where's the shoe? Sperry. Sperry strategy. Sperry's 828 like strategy. Who wants the 828? Know nothing about psychology. Know nothing about uh, eye tracking. Be unsophisticated and you will go the way of Toys R Us, Payless Shoes, American Apparel. Uh, you will go the way of Kodak. Ford is now smaller than Tesla. Elon Musk is bigger than Tesla. You will disappear. The game of life is like evolution. The survival of the most adaptable. You see, people say the survival of the fittest. But this is not a correct assessment of really what it means. It's not survival of the fittest because fittest sounds like who's ever the strongest, whoever's the smartest. But there's the greatest summary of what Charles Darwin said by this professor and he said, it's not the smartest or the strongest who survive, it's the most adaptable to the environment in which they find themselves. Sperry's adaptability skills is a one out of 10. They, they're not smart enough to figure out across the street from them on the same platform, Instagram, they post no feet pictures and they have a brand. What's the, let's see what Sperry's revenue is. Shoe. Who is this company? Wow. Is this person, this person got to be older than my grandma. 2016. Wolverine. <laughs> this article says, the company continues to expect Sperry to return to growth. They're hoping they return to growth because they ain't growing. And if they're growing, it's in spite of this. It sounds like they have other brands. Maybe there are other brands. Wolverine could face mounting cleanup costs. They own Salcone, Ked, Stridewright, and Sperry's Top. Mark my words, this is gonna, I'm actually looking to buy companies like this. I've got a hedge fund and a private equity fund guys behind me. We're looking for distressed debt. I'm just waiting for this company to be in debt. Somebody just wrote, who's Sperry? <laughs> Brittany says, Sperry shuts down IG account. But I just don't understand. Why wouldn't you be teachable? Why wouldn't you go over to Nike? I'm not saying I have the answers. I'm saying Nike has the answers. Once in a while, they post a shoe video. See, and they do it right. They got... Kevin Hart here. They got this Jordan video. They, they rarely post shoes. I know that's, when I brought that up, I didn't even, I hadn't even looked at them. When I brought that up, I did a Foot Locker. You can scroll back on my Instagram and I said, Foot Locker's gonna go broke because they only show feet. People were mind blown. I mean, comments are like, you know nothing about marketing, Ty. It's a shoe store. Of course they're gonna show shoes. I'm going, welcome to the modern public day, public school system. This is what is produced mass produced factory morons by the millions, just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. you know, like a factory thing is like, ch -ch 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 -ch. 
to sell shoes, show only feet. That's like you can't in the chess game. They could only figure out to move the pawn. They had no sophistication. If you brought up to them that you need to have an inter edutainment value to your brand, it's like, uh, this is not entertaining, but this is. Nike's entertaining. So going back here, $100. What is step number two to growing your social commerce brand on Amazon? I said step number one. It was just on the page. I just covered it. Step number two. YouTube, Instagram. Da -da -da. What is step number two? There's three words, but I'll give it to you if you get two. Someone said faces. There we go. Donovan on YouTube gets it. Donovan, you need to reply with your cash app or PayPal. I got PayPal to unlock my account today, but still I like cash app better. The answer is funnel website. You need to have the entertain edutainment to build a free customer base, large customer base. You then drive them to a funnel or a website. Amazon's the easiest one to start with, easier than Shopify, easier than anything. And then there's strategies. You gotta grow it and scale it. You get your first sale, but then you gotta get your second sale and your third scale, and that takes a second. Um, okay, now. What else? Should I give away, enough, what, how much money have I given away? On, on Instagram, I'm gonna go live again. It's gonna reset. I don't know why Instagram has this hour long limit. You can just reset again. It's like, what's the point of one hour? I can understand if they only limited you to one hour, but you can just go live for an hour and turn it off and go live again. Yeah. Um, Donovan, oh, there you go. MorrisDonovan13 at gmail.com. And I, I shared it publicly, so if anybody wants to send you money. Somebody wrote, step number two, don't follow Sperry on Instagram. <laughs> I've just been in a mood of like blasting these billion dollar companies because it's just so unfair. There's so many smart entrepreneurs that watch me, they don't have any money behind them, and then the people with the money just are dumb. I don't even know what else you call this. They didn't notice that they get five comments on a post, that didn't, they, they don't know that five isn't good or two. This one gets two. No one with hat was on the alert. Now maybe they don't value social media, but I'm going, really? You don't think social media is big? The Rock, the highest paid actor in the world, is on social media. Nike, the largest shoe brand, 89 million on social media. You don't think there's a value to this? I mean, it's bizarre. National Geographic is even, Massive on here. It's probably, I think, it's revived National Geographic's brand. National Geographic's a magazine. It's going to go broke, but they were smart. They look at National Geographic as such a good social media. And you hear all these stories about people going broke, and I just go, well, look at National Geographic. It's just 100 million followers. And they do it so well. Like, I actually, man, I love, I love, 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 love their stuff. Just look at that cool picture. Or coast, wild coastal wolf of British Columbia. Now, we go to other media brands that are always talking about how they're going broke. I don't know. Let's look at one of these. What's a, what's a newspaper you don't like, Zach? <laughs> uh, Washington Post. All right. Zach is more, is more anti. Zach's more Republican. So let's see. Uh, Jeff Bezos, right? Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah, let's not pick on Jeff Bezos because we're talking about Amazon. Who else don't you like? Let's do uh, uh, Vox. That's well, the big one, Times. Let's do New York Times. Yeah, let's do New York Times. Instagram. This is a company. Now, they're actually starting to get on the digital bandwagon. But first of all, they only have 5.5 million followers, which I think is a mistake. 2,000 likes on their last picture. This is just bad. It's not that entertaining. What is that? Goa, India used to attract hippies. Today, it's an entirely new crowd, young Indians. I think they're making a mistake by not doing video. You want video. Look, my pro I didn't even know this. 354,000 views on that. This picture here only got 28,000. Now, they may have reached the same amount of people, but psychologically, the engagement you get from video, people who like dance are going to be fascinated by this. Ballet is actually very hard to do. 
That looks easy. Zach, I will give you $100,000. You get out of bed in the morning just, like that? Just like that. Yeah, if you get out of bed with a cape, <laughs> I want a video of that. The day Zach gets out of bed, he said he gets out of bed with a cape and tights. Put here, can you demonstrate that real quick? <laughs> Just do the little back off the screen thought, like that. Back off the screen like that. Uh, Zach, yeah, come on, man. This, my mom was a ballerina for a while. Ballet is hard, boy. Good strategy. <laughs> Please do that, Zach. Wait, come across the screen. Just, just. Okay, go. Well, I don't go. know about that move, but the... Go. <laughs> Zach's back down, brother. Man down. Man down. Man down. Yeah. So here's what I would do if I was New York Times. I would invite them. Uh, who wants to do a parody of us? Have a parody of this. That'd be funny. You could, I promise you Zach's video will get equal amount of views as this 354,000. They should, but see that's, you gotta be creative to make it in the modern world. Somebody said, what in the hell? They just joined. <laughs> they just joined and you went down. Ty, that's your lawyer. My lawyer went down. Ty, just watch your IGTV, very inspirational. Thank you, John O'Brien. I just started uh, Instagram, IGTV is awesome. Okay, all you on Instagram, let's, we're gonna reset it in a second? Uh, about three minutes. Three minutes. Let's read the names of some of you getting in the program. You got three hours and 55 minutes, and then it's a hard close, meaning there'll just be a waiting list. You can't pay more, can't call my support, is an actual full close. I usually do partial scholarships, but this Amazon one, I wanna reward the people who uh, are paying attention. What's that? Just quit. Okay, just reset it, that's fine. Okay, so where are we? You resetting it after yeah, you said, yeah. Who's worried about Zach's leg? Zach dances better than her. Ha ha ha, man down, man down. You guys ever seen the Shaq in the Fool? I should have been like, sniper in the building. <laughs> that was my favorite Shaq one. When Shaq, the, hey, you talk about us. Hey, let's talk about media for a second. Social marketing. You know who makes a lot of money? NBA on TNT. They're so much funnier and more entertaining than any single other thing that they have. Did you see, did you see Charles Barkley, what he was talking about last time? Yes, yes. And it went viral because Charles Barkley is funny and he plays with it. And you know the value of a spot? If you try to advertise on it inside the NBA, guarantee you people dropping a million, millions to get one little spot because you can monetize. See, once you have a customer base and you educate while entertaining, then they sell website space, and they've grown and scaled. I mean, NBA TNT is in, insane. Sniper in the building. This was Zach. This was his, No, we should do the one when Shaq fell. Yeah. Let's see what this one is. Sniper in the studio. <laughs> what movie is this from? Saving Private Ryan. Oh, Saving Private Ryan? That's Boozer. <laughs> he just bosh, just goes down. Nobody touches him. I love this movie. <laughs> anyway, see, Shaquille O'Neal, if you watch any other sports show, None of them are as funny as inside the NBA TV. Do you, is there anything as funny? I mean, Colin Cowherd is entertaining, but he ain't as funny as EJ, Charles, and Shaq, are they? And Kenny? No, they're the best. What, I mean, Stephen Smith can be funny. Zacked in a fool, somebody said. <laughs> I still think the funniest accident was Shaq tripping over the wire. Heck yeah, I watched that live. I laughed for so long. So once again, Play with it, man. You get your Amazon, you get your platform, you get your product. We were looking yesterday at doing a hair thing for Zach. Can you, can you set this? Oh, here, I can do it myself. There we go. There's so, is it back on? Yeah. 1,500 people on? Yeah. 
Okay. 2,500. We got 4,000 people on YouTube and Instagram. Todd, okay, some questions. Let me read the name of some people who are getting in the Amazon sales blueprint as we speak. See, I do, I give value showing stuff and I make money at the same time. People sometimes go, ha ha, you're selling stuff. Yeah, just like they do on the World Series, just like they do in the World Cup, just like they do in the Super Bowl, just like they do in every sports event, just like they do on every TV show. Netflix is selling, you know why Netflix doesn't have commercials? Because you paid $10 a month. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to come on this live call and everybody give me 10 bucks a month, then I'll just not do any advertisements. It's not a mind blowing. I know some people like mind blow, like, yo, this Thai guy, you ain't gonna believe this. He has commercials on YouTube. Like, what? What? Again, cookie cutter people coming off the factory. Cha-chunk, cha-chunk. They're not able to think that it's now moved from TV commercials to social media commercials. Mind-blowing, I know. Really tough for some people to just, huh? Like, there was commercials on a box called TV, and now the commercials are on a box called my phone when I look at YouTube. I know, it's tough. People are gonna get it, slowly but surely. Life is tough. Life is it tough to figure this stuff out, man. People were like, Ty, give me money. Okay. Give you money, feed you for a day. Teach you how to make money, feed you for a lifetime. Don't ever forget that. Simple saying. Sperry. Go after this Sperry market. I promise you, you'll decimate these people. Make weird loafers. Apparently women like loafers now. Whatever the market is, take this company out. Their sale, they say they're waiting for their sales to come back. I'm like... You may be waiting for a while because I'm training people how to destroy this company. They don't even have a lot of followers, 297,000 followers. You can build that with giveaways. You can build a giveaway strategy, get you to 300,000 followers for your brand. Believe it or not, giveaway shoes. I know that's, Sperry's like, what do we give away? Like, do we give away gum? Should we give away microphones? Somebody, surprise some intern who has no college degree, but like is working minimum wage is like, why don't we give away some of these shoes? And they're like, no, 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 no. That'll devalue our brand. I talked about Louis Vuitton not doing giveaways and someone's like, that'll devalue their brand. They burn their extra stuff. Oh yeah, nothing will devalue your brand more than giving away Louis Vuitton or the equivalent to homeless, starving people around the world. Like if you want to destroy your brand, be known as an altruistic brand instead of a greedy Italian brand that caters to bougie people. Yeah, that's that's you're real smart, buddy. Like that that's people were arguing with me after my live stream, like, dude, like, literally, someone's like, dude, that'll devalue Louis Vuitton. Really? If you did like where Drake gave or where Oprah Winfrey gave everyone a house or a car or whatever she gave away, you think that devalued Oprah's brand? She's the first woman billionaire in history. And she understood edutainment, education. She, her funnel website back then in the 80s and 90s was a TV show. And then she grew in scale. You really think burning your stuff is better than saying, you know what, we had a million dollars worth of stuff we were gonna burn. Instead, we took that million dollars and we gave it to AIDS orphans in Africa. You don't think that would help Louis Vuitton? Because let's look over at Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton's uh, social media marketing strategy. I looked at it, it ain't good either. Now, they are a valuable brand, but valuable brands disappear. American Apparel was the biggest American brand. It was doing six to seven hundred million dollars and it went bankrupt, was purchased for pennies on the dollar. So don't think just because you're big, you won't get taken out. Kodak was big. Okay, so here's Louis Vuitton. They have 30 million followers, 10 times, I have 3 million. They have 10 times my followers, and they're, this gets 57,000 likes. Let's look at mine. Not to brag about mine, but I just wanna compare, cause I do giveaways, I do funny videos, I do all kinds of stuff. Let's look. Okay, they just posted this video here. This, okay, 57,000 and 200 comments on this girl. My last picture I posted, right here, 111,000, and I have how many? 1,300 comments. So I have a tenth of the follower 
and I have exactly double the engagement because I do giveaways. I do very, I post stupid stuff like I just posted here. You know what the fastest growing social media brand is? 9gag. 9gag posts stupid stuff all the time and they grow through the roof. I posted this, 750,000 views. Louis Vuitton, 10 times the followers, 200,000. They don't know what they're doing either because they're not understanding social e-commerce at all. This right here, even though this guy is a, is a fashion icon, the younger generation doesn't value this guy. They used to. Now they value Fashion Nova, which is a billion dollar brand built completely with social media traffic. You see? Hold on a second. Alma? Do you know where Alma is? So I hope each of you wraps your hand around what I'm saying and gets it. This is a wide open window. And this show is about, you know, time. someone said Carl was a genius. He was a genius, but so was the founder of many companies. Ford was founded by, Henry Ford was a genius in business, but now Elon Musk is more of a genius. You see? So it's not enough to just be a genius, it's like, who's more of a genius? You can't just rest on your loyal, laurels. They've got a decent social media presence, but it's not that good. Oh, I'll send you something in a second, Alma. Um, Carl Sagan was a genius, okay? Someone said, Tracy said, that's because the world's gone stupid and silly and do whatever you please. It's now accepted to be strange and different. Okay. I mean, this guy, he left hundreds of millions of dollars to his cat. I mean, that's fine that that is an icon to many people, but whatever. I think it's Carl Sagan. No, but they're, no, they're t this guy just died. Carl something, Langaford or whatever, and he, and he left half his wealth to his cat, which I mean, it's, I was reading a different comment. And I'm just saying to this guy, it's great if he's a genius to you. I mean, he's a, certainly a fashion genius, but um, not my number one motivation. I like, I like Warren Buffett. When he dies, he's given half of his money away to you know, the poorest people in the world. But whatever, you do whatever you want. You want to give, you made your money, you want to give it to cats. I think it's a waste of time, but whatever. Um, would you buy products from Alibaba? That's a drop shipping strategy. Uh, and I think that better than a drop shipping strategy is to do an Amazon strategy. Okay, you got some questions? What's some questions, Zach? Uh, what's the favorite mistake you ever made? Favorite mistake I ever made? Um, My favorite mistake I ever made, probably going the opposite of all my, everyone else, I guess, that I grew up with. It was like kind of a mistake on, I thought at the time, it just happened that way. What else? How small is too small for a niche? Good question. Ty, can you explain the Amazon strategy? So let's talk about this. So we go to Amazon here. Let's just say we want to talk about shoes. Let's say you love shoes and you want to sell them. How small of a market, like there's probably a smaller market for these shoes right here. Centipede, Demon, Men's, Women's, Quick Dry, Aqua, Water Shoes, Barefoot Beach, Swim, Surf Shoes. That is not how to brand. What is this? Please, Zach. <laughs> Zach, is this your brand? <laughs> no. Two dollies, men's underwear. Why would you put your hand like that? Just... That is, un how did that get past Amazon compliance? <laughs> and it accidentally, it stuck into my phone. I can't even look at that. That was on the side. <laughs> oh Lord, help us all. Someone said they want to buy. Oaxaca said he wants to buy some. Oaxaca. Zach sells those on his personal website. Some used, uh, what were they called? Okay. I wasn't looking. All right. Okay. 
How much would you invest to try a product? The thing I like about starting out as an affiliate is you can test the market. You won't make as much money, but you don't have to spend any money. You see? So you can start as an affiliate. You can start as an affiliate. That's what I did. My first earnings on Amazon was $4 in the month of December 2013. And then it went up to about 11,000, 10 to 11,000 a month on autopilot with no work. Because I had a page that I used social media to drive traffic to. I reviewed books. People clicked, they bought the books. And not only did I get a piece of every book people bought, but I got a piece of anything that was in their shopping cart. That's good. That's great. Um, why did you delete Daniel? What does that mean? Who's Daniel? So the Amazon strategy can be, you can start out by testing products as an affiliate just to see if they sell. And then, this is what Jeff Bezos is starting to do. He takes everything that sells and he makes it, he even makes his own version of it. So you could, you could try to sell centipede demon shoes from your social media following doing reviews on it, doing some reviews on YouTube, making funny viral videos. I think you could make a funny viral video about this that costs you basically nothing. If you have a phone, you upload it to Instagram. If you get a little trap and it's just like, you got to see these shoes, people click, they come here, Amazon puts a cookie on them and other things they buy. Even if they don't buy these shoes, you get a little cut and your first check is $4. And then you go, okay, there is a market for these centipede demon shoes. And you could then either drop ship or white label or come up with your own version of them and build a whole business around that where you're actually selling your products. Okay. So how much money do you make per month? I mean, look, I don't like to say because it intimidates people because then they're thinking, oh, Ty can do Amazon because he makes it. But I mean, you know, all my business, I don't like to do work in any business that won't make a million dollars a month or more. So I have 15 main sources of income and um, they don't all hit a million dollars a month, but that's like the target and some hit way more than that. So yeah, Ty, you look like Mark Whaleberg. What were that? What was the shorts before that? <laughs> Somebody likes the hot sale on Torales Men's Mesh. Um, is Alma still here? Just tell her to check her phone. Okay. Ty, can social commerce work for books? Yes, because that's the actual case study that I was doing. I did it with books. Josh Paler and new course coming on. It's already come and it's gone in two hours and 40 minutes. Here's an example of what I did. So tylopez.com slash books right here. I have this page on my website. I've hardly updated it for years. Once in a while we update it, but the books that I like haven't changed that much. I listed about 60, 70 of my favorite books. And um, when people click to buy them, then it goes to Amazon. If you look in here, this long URL, I am an affiliate. It says tag Ty Lopez. See Amazon tracks. That's my name right there. So when you buy this book for $1.95, I probably make three cents. But if you drop in other things into your cart, make more. And I remember being an affiliate is not the way to make the most money, but it's the easiest and cheapest way to test things. Opinions on sports gambling. Ty, can you extend the deadline? I'm getting paycheck in the morning. I can't. I wish I could. I know some of you. I just, I already extended it. It was supposed to close at five, but people are confused which time zone I meant. So I just said, as long as it's still Friday in America, you can buy. Once it turns Saturday, tonight at midnight, anywhere in America except Hawaii, but California, it's, so you can go on a wait list if we ever open it up again. Okay. Ty, how do you figure out if the niche is too competitive? I talked about this yesterday. Don't worry so much about competition. Learn how to do social commerce. Nobody, basically one in 100,000 brands here knows how to, or products 
is using social e-commerce like you're going to learn in this program. They're just, they're not doing it. They're not. I repeat, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. Look at Sperry. Yeah, don't try to compete with Nike, but you could definitely compete with Sperry, and you could definitely compete with a lot of these dumb, dumb brands. Really. So, um, what else? Ty, how do, how do you get a girl? Sell on Amazon. <laughs> my answer for everything today. <laughs> Anything people bring. Ty, how do I gain muscle? Sell on Amazon. And then buy what you sell on Amazon. Take the money. Give it to a personal trainer who forces you to get up in the gym. Ty, let me get Zach's hair again for 500 Ty bucks. How small is too small? Okay, so I answered that on too small. Too small, it's better to go after something a little too big than too small, in my opinion. Some people will give you the opposite advice and go after some teeny niche and dominate it. But do you really want to dominate the underwater basket weaving market? It's like the market of three people. So like, you want to spend all that, I, I don't want to, let me just see if underwater basket weaving exists here. Yes, there is a book. There it is. Underwater basket weaving is legit. Let me see. I got to see a video. So to me, like this is just too small of a market for me, even though people do want to watch it. Here you go. Free advice from Vimeo. Let's see. They put it. Here's my question. What is the main, I'm, I know I'm stupid, but what's the main advantage of underwater basket weaving? Is it that it stays wet? Oh, she said, no, that doesn't, I mean, what is, does anybody know why underwater basket weaving exists? I just don't know. I think it started as something that was just- Google ver versus Amazon. Why is Amazon better? What's well, easier to sell on Amazon? You know? Show example of a click funnel. No, today we're showing Amazon. It's an Amazon funnel. Amazon does it for you. You get to partner with the richest man in the world who builds funnels for you, and he has a couple hundred million credit cards on file. More important than the funnel is do people have to enter their credit card? People don't like to enter their credit card in. So if you enter, if the card's already entered for you, it's way better. Well, Zach, I think this is another market for you to go into. Cups? No. Oh, basket weaving. Yeah, basket weaving cups. Competitive basket weaving? You can tell they're drop shipping some of these day things because of the length of time. Like ships within th one to three weeks. Cool. Ships between one and 52 weeks. I like that they gave themselves a wide drop shipping window. We ship within your lifetime. I'm going to start saying that. Someone said it looks like he's playing with a dead jellyfish. Best rags to rich story? Probably my one of my, my my top 300 student. By the way, who's going to be in my 300 group from this Amazon? My 300 best success stories. In 2018, my best success story was a guy who went from being in prison in 2014. His mom would print out my programs. He's in four of my programs. He netted 25 million. That's the most. That's not common. That's like, so don't get it in your mind that you're going to make 25 million going in this program. I'm just saying that's, yeah. Partner with the richest guy in the world, sell stuff. He controls the funnel. He controls all this stuff and makes sure like that this works. This website's not gonna go down because the richest man in the world will make a few phone calls and put your website back up. That's why I like Amazon, especially for those of you who are beginners or even intermediary. Ty, who are you closer with and who do you think gives better advice, Grant Cardone or Gary Vee? Um, who gives better advice? I mean, look, all these, there's so many people out there that are smart, that are teaching. Oh, people are commenting. Someone said Grant Gary is better. Someone said Grant is better. I mean, there is no such thing as better. You know, Grant Cardone done a lot of real estate deals. So he knows a lot about real estate. Gary vee has been in the, the social media, especially YouTube game for a long time. He was like one of the first people out there I think he started in like 2007, 
on YouTube. You know, Joe Rogan's a big one out there too. Look at Joe Rogan. Nobody's bigger than Joe Rogan. He started in 2009 on YouTube. So they try to build a cabinet of advisors. The president has 15 advisors. He doesn't have one. He doesn't go, who's the best advisor? You're my advisor. He, he, he has 15. You want 15, you know? So you don't have to say, Ty is better. People, of course, here on my stream are going to say Ty is the best because they follow me. But, I mean, I'm not better than, I'm just different. I got my own approach. There's many ways to win on this game, and you can learn many things. I will tell you this. What I can tell you is in terms of paid, putting people through step-by-step -step curriculums, I have the most, I think, of anybody ever in history online from an individual influencer. I have 285,000 people in my paid programs. That's not even counting free stuff. Millions in the free stuff. Hundreds of millions will watch the free stuff. But in terms of a paid, I've watched people pay money and I've seen what works. So I'm a competitor to college, you could say. I'm a competitor to community college. I'm a competitor to an undergrad degree. So that's more my competition. I don't compete with Gary V, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins. They're, we're more kind of all doing the same thing in their way. And sometimes they don't agree with me and sometimes I don't agree with them. That's just welcome to the world. You know what I mean? I don't agree with everything they say and they don't agree with everything I say. So in general, I agree with them. The big picture, I think we all agree. Whether it's Gary Grant, Tony Robbins, you know, all the different influencers. We have a, all of us are kind of saying the same thing. Take action, okay? A piece of paper diploma can help you a little bit, but it's not the main determinant. I think we all say that. I think we all say that social media is important. We all say create multiple streams of income. That's important. We all say that you're going to have to put in the work. Nobody's going to hand it to you. Okay. Now we all say it in our own little way. Grant is more like, yo, go into real estate. Gary, I think I'm not ex exactly sure. I think his thing is more, you know, he has books. He's a big author. Grant has a book. I talk a lot about books, but I haven't written a book. I'm working on one, but Gary's done a ton of books. He's an investor in many brands. Grant's more hardcore real estate guy. I'm more about, like I care more about lifestyle overall. Like my question is, I'm not only, like I try to reduce my income some years because I want to do other things, you know? We're all in different places in life. So that, that's, you got to think like who, one thing that I do when I'm trying to figure out who I want to listen to, whose overall life do I want? You see, like there's many things I like about Warren Buffett. Overall, I like Warren Buffett's approach. He does what he wants. He has, no, he doesn't grind like people think he works, but he says grinding to him is the opposite of what he wants to do. He does work though. But he's not a grinder. He says he wakes up, he tap dances out of bed, he sleeps, he, he, he lives one mile from his office. There's 22 people there. He says all he does is read all day. Ask Warren Buffett, he says he reads 500 pages a day. He said, I sit there, I basically don't do anything, but I read and I think and I strategize. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I like Arnold Schwarzenegger a lot. I grew up, my dad was a professional bodybuilder. He's from Harlem and my dad, and so, my dad, all bodybuilders pretty much admire still, uh, Schwarzenegger. Sch Schwarzenegger's worth over $500 million. I've gotten to know him a teeny bit. I've been to his house a couple times. I went and spoke with him in Australia. Uh, I opened up for him in, in Melbourne last year. And um, I gotten to know his son, Patrick, who's, and one thing I like about Arnold, like his son is a cool guy. And a lot of people who are rich, their kids turn out wacky. Patrick Schwarzenegger, awesome guy. Um, I like Will Smith. You know, I've gotten to know his son, Jaden. I don't know Will, but I, me and Jaden text sometimes. I met him at a conference or at a, actually at like a, what was that thing in Long Beach where I met him? He was just out at a hot dog stand. And he's like, yo, dude, I watch your videos. It was that, it was like an expo of like shoe brands and stuff. It was the one in Long Beach. I met him last year. Like, I like Will Smith because that dude has a whole package. He's made money. He likes his life. He got a fun family. His son um, started a water brand at 12 years old. His son's, his son's smart, man. 
So I, I look at the big pick, when I admire people, I don't just look who has the most money. You know who's got the most money? This dude right here, my next door neighbor. That's a $250 million condo. It's the most expensive, I think, in the world, but in America. He paid $250 for an unfinished condo. It's a hedge fund guy, but I wouldn't want to be him. So I do admire what he's done, but he's not like a role model to me because my goal is not to be the richest man in the graveyard, okay? Yeah, Complex Con, that's where I met Jaden Smith. And um, so I like to look at everything. So I don't look at, who do I like more, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee? I don't just listen to what people say and teach. I look at their lifestyle. And I like my lifestyle the best because only I know what I like. I wouldn't want to be almost any, there's very few people that I look at him and I go, damn, I, Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime, that is a guy that would have been fun to be. You know, and, and he's, got, he's got money too. He's over, worth over 500 million. He did, you know why I like Arnold Schwarzenegger? He did everything he ever planned to as a teenager. As a teenager, he said he was going to marry Kennedy. He was going to win Mr. Olympia. He was going to come to America. He was going to be a millionaire before 30. He became a millionaire before 30 with a, with a you know, he had an online business before online. He would mail people weights through the mail. You would buy it in the back of magazines, and he did real estate in Santa Monica. Everything, he said he wanted to be the highest paid actor in the world, Terminator 2. He was the highest paid actor in, in the world. I like Arnold, but he also had fun, man. I got a lot of fun, a lot of fun. People say, oh, I got a private jet. He had a private 747, 747. That was his. He traveled around in his own 747. That's baller. Forget a G4, G, I mean a G5, forget all that. 747, baby, you could put 600 people. How many people fit on 747? Is that right? No, I'll just I just said. Maybe a few hundred. No. I don't know what. 747 is 200? That can't be right. 400. 400. <laughs> well, actually, 4 to 600. 4 to 600. I'm telling you, there's a sheik out of, out of the Middle East that has a, a 747. He has a basketball court in it and a gym, and he has a zoo. He keeps, like, giraffes with them. Yeah, Google it. What's the point? I don't know. That's, that guy had too much money. But see, I wouldn't want to be some sheik who inherited money because every person I've ever seen who inherit money, it's not as enjoyable. You didn't do anything for it. So you're kind of like, well, I'm depressed. I mean, I, I, I got a place in, like, this is billionaire row. I, th all these neighbors are most billionaires in the world here in Manhattan. And I got a place in, in South Beach and, and in Beverly Hills. I've been around rich people and they're not all happy. Arnold should run for president. He can't. The Constitution won't let him. He was born in uh, Austria. Okay. I'm about to get off here. And anything. How much money do I got left to give out? 700. 700 still? Yeah. Oh, let me read the names of a few people getting in the Amazon program. And then I'm going to go. We've got. Jesse Mulligan, Craig Westerman in Cockeysville, <laughs> Cockeysville, Maryland. Please tell me you didn't make that up. Can you imagine people go where you live? Cockeysville, baby. <laughs> I'm in Cockeysville. <laughs> Look it up. Cockeysville. I'm missing, I'm missing Cockeysville. I can't even make that up. No. Yeah, I guess that would, yeah. Jennifer May, no. Kyle Cummings in Hudson, Ohio. Yasser Jackson in New York, New York, right here. Edgar Arden in Houston, Texas. Paseth Soon in Cambodia, James Balachino, that's another good name. Anything with Bala, his first five letters of his, four letters, uh, five letters of his name, his last name is Bala. Dude, just drop the Chichino. Just stick with James Bala. That was kind of like Chiching, too. Yeah, Bala Chiching. But just imagine if you, saw, that's why, you know, I went to Romania. And I went to Vlad's castle. It's the actual place where the vampire stories come from, where a guy named Vlad the Impaler, a.k.a. Dracula, and they have some documents he signed, and I was like, man, I got to change my name. This dude used to sound, he would sign his name Count Dracula. <laughs> like, that is the, I guess back then no one knew what it was, but that is, there is nothing better than I could do is do a business deal, send over my offer, and it's signed Count Dracula. Dude, Zach, press me, change your name to Z Co Dracula Cookman. You, and, it can't, and I'll, I'll do a fake, one of those fake accreditations. I'll be like, you are now hereby a count. 
<laughs> and you could be Count Dracula, Count Zacula. Count Zacula. Welcome to the Count You could just sign it real fast, it would look like Dracula. I'll do the, the Count Dracula show. Count Zacula. Welcome. Alma, what are you guys doing? The Come over here. Come. Come watch for a second. I, I can have an audience of one person. You want to be right there behind Zach? Here, Zach come around this way. Is that what y'all said? Yeah, Count Zacula. That's actually Count like Zach. cheesy yet witty at the same time. You can go right there. Right there. Count Zacula. You're not on camera, don't worry. Someone says. <laughs> don't listen to Zach. Is Amazon still a good market to enter? Is it very difficult to make money because it's very saturated? It's not saturated. It, what do you define as saturated? More supply than demand? But what about more good supply than demand? Like, that's, yeah. It's acting a fool. It depends how, if you suck and you don't have any training, then everything in the world is too, um, is way too saturated. That's my advice for you. If the world, if you look at the world with the glass half empty, you're going to always fulfill that, man. Uh, I'm wanting to start branding myself for self-help, anxiety, depression video series. Your opinion on how to begin it, how can you monetize that on Amazon? Self-help? Write an ebook. You guys know this Fifty Shades of Grey? You ever seen this right here? This started, or one of the big places, that she sold her Fifty Shades of Grey books. Look at this. 73,000 reviews of her trilogy at 26 bucks. If you have 73,000 reviews, you know how many books you sold? And what was, people said, there's already 10 million books out there. So isn't that too saturated? You guys said it's too saturated to make money. People act like they know what they're talking about. It's too saturated. This is the biggest mistake. Go into, I love saturated markets. That means there's a lot of demand. Another thing they don't teach in school. People go, oh, somebody already else had that idea. Well, somebody already had social media idea before Mark Zuckerberg built MySpace. I mean, Facebook, Tom at MySpace. And someone had an idea before Tom at MySpace, Friendster. Look at this, 50 Shades of Grey. How much do you think she's made from books alone? Forget the books, Zach. Okay, $100 to the first person who guesses it correctly. Hmm. 50 Shades of Grey, total dollars in books sold, eBooks or physical books. Fifty Shades of Grey book sales, not movie. That's they've done a billion or so in movie. This is gonna be crazy. Let me look at this number. Let's just see how how many copies. Let's just say copies have they sold. Man, this is back to 2014. Man, okay, the last number according 2014. How many? Had she sold in 2014? Oh no, here it's 2015. I see. Does anybody have it? 250 million. No, uh, no. There you go. Daniel Gen Gendelberg on YouTube. 125 million as of 2015. You know, I bet you she sold another 125 million. Now let's just do the math on the ebook because I think she started with the ebook. Let's say you knew how to write. It's not. Have you ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? It's not brilliant writing, okay? It's just not. Kindle, nine bucks, $10. Let's just say, and this isn't even what she kept, let's just say she kept half of that money. If you sell 100 million books at $5, Sam, what do you have? 100 million times five is half a billion dollars. Let's see what, let's see how, what's her name again? It's, uh, E.L. James. I still got this underwater basket weaving. I need your email, Gendelberg. I need your, your, uh, I need it. I need your email if you want to get paid. This shows you how bad these net worth things are. In 2015, she only, they said only, she only had a net worth of 58 million. Trust me. These net worth things on my net worth, all these stupid net worth things are so wrong. Look, here's one that says, so you got one that says 58 million. The next one below says 150 and the one here below says 370 million. This one says 95 million. 
the books, the movies, the movies, the movies are gonna make her crazy money. Anyway, she's worth over 100 million. All she did was write this little thing right here. Can anybody, have you ever read the, the quality of writing on that book? Someone just said I couldn't get past chapter eight. <laughs> Got all the way to chapter eight. Who here can write this book? I mean, someone said she spent some money. Yeah, she may have spent them. Maybe she was worth 150 million. She spent 100 million partying. She did some H and B like Zach. Who knows what H and B is? It's a uh... hundred dollars if you know what Zach's H and B definition is. H and B. Blexican royalty said me. Is that a? That's a new. So you got Blasian. Blexican, black and Mexican. How do I not know that? Christian got it. H and B. On what? Christian, Christian Riobo got it. What is it, Zach? You say it. Hookers and blow. Christian Riobo. Riobo. Did you take a picture? Yeah. Hundred dollars to you, Christian Riobo. <laughs> Hustling and bustling. Someone wrote. <laughs> oh, Harbor. All right. Whoever is the most creative alternate. Meaning of H and B. Someone said hair and booze. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Health and beauty. <laughs> Zach spent. She spent 100 million on her health and beauty. Let's see. E. L. James. Heroin and bleach. Did she spend heroin, heroin and bleach? And bleach. Yeah. This is my new series. How creative are you? Okay. So what do we say? E. L. James. I bet you that's not her real name, by the way. For those of you who are introverts, there you go. That's her. E.L. James made a hundred million. Just a regular person out there. She didn't. She didn't have an MBA. She doesn't have. That's just her. Zach, you need to meet her. I'm good. Why? I'm She's smart. 25, 30 years. You're good for that. Somebody said hair and butts. <laughs> What's his name? Hot and bot. Hungry and hairy. It's H and B, man. Is she the, uh, is she the richest drag queen? I ain't going there. Let me pull this down before Zach gets me in trouble. Um, heads and boulders, health and booty, hang and bang. <laughs> Somebody wrote therapy and pills for H and B. You got both letters wrong, man. Homes and boats. There you go. Zach, when he gets his hundred million from his hair care line, is gonna do H and B, homes and boats, and high and bund, Hawaiian booty. <laughs> Zach, you Hawaii. did want to go to Hawaii. Oh, yeah, I like the Hawaiian. Zach likes that. All right, I got to get off here. How much time is left on Insta? Who's getting in the Amazon program before I close it at midnight California time? You have exactly two hours and, uh, sorry, three hours and 14 minutes. I think it's actually six because we're in New York now. Look on the, ti look on the timer page. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. We're doing a California time. Whatever. You, get, you don't have much time. <laughs> put it that way. So I'll put humanity and biodiversification. They think highly of you, Zach. If Zach makes $100 million, he's going to focus it all on humanity and biodiversity. It's six in California. Okay, so you got until midnight California. Hydrogen and balloons. Hairy and busty. Hunky and bumpy. Hustle. Okay, how much is the program? People are asking. So I have two options. It's less than 500, under 500 bucks, or you can do three payments. I think the three payments are like under 150 bucks. Now you do have an alternative. They now have they have social media at colleges. Social. If you want to learn from a professor who's never made money, you can do this. I saw there's a university that has an Amazon degree in Hawaii. I, I sorry in Miami. Let me see how expensive this is. Florida University Amazon course. God help anybody who goes to like a junior college and learns at Amazon. They're not even good enough to rank here. Here, University of Florida Gainesville has a tools and strategy. Oh no, that's for conservation and develop of the Amazon jungle. 
That, that, so yes, your alternative is you can go to University of Gainesville. I, I should put this up, I promise you, somebody's gonna buy a ticket thinking they're going down there to learn Amazon course. They're gonna sign up for this. They're gonna get down there and they're gonna be like, why are there all these slides of jungles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I recommend you go here. If you don't get in the program, trust me, you wanna go to University of Florida Gainesville. I like that they have this up on their site even though it was in October 2017. Good way to update your site, guys. Uh, no, but I know there is a course somewhere at, U at some University of Florida where you can learn how to sell on Amazon. And what's the cost? Most college semesters cost like 2,500 to 5,000 bucks. There's other Amazon courses out there. There's some good ones, but most of them are three to $5,000. So you can get in this one for under 150 bucks, three payment plan, or you can just pay one time. It's not an ongoing one. Someone said, that's an ugly ass looking website. You don't like Tropical Conservation Development Program? It actually is. I want to go to the, Am I've been to the Amazon jungle one time. Uh, is this class different than the Quick Start Program? Yeah, the Quick Start Program was a 10 day crash course, but I closed that like three days ago. That was just rewarding people who got in. Now it's the full four month certification. If someone starts from scratch with this blueprint, how long do you think it will take to before generating substantial income? Um, it depends on the person, but I w don't go into it. Think you're going to get rich overnight. I've never seen something really get people rich overnight, except like illegal stuff. But the problem with that is then you end up in jail. So you make money. And so like nothing, anything that makes you a million dollars, like the first month somebody tells you, or even the first year, I mean, it takes a while. Just try to make your first thousand a month, then your first 10,000. You can usually stop there. Most people in the world will be happy with 10,000 a month. Hard boy on YouTube says, Ty, what about eBay? Don't you think eBay is relevant? Yeah, but not as relevant as Amazon. I mean, you think there's, you know how much more is bought on Amazon versus eBay? How often, who here bought on eBay in the last month? Josh, when was the last time you bought on eBay? I don't think I ever bought on eBay. Sam, you ever bought on eBay? Yeah. When's the last thing you bought on eBay that you can say on this call? <laughs> Books. Was, uh, you bought books on eBay? Oh, I thought you said Amazon. No. no, okay. Yeah. What oh, did you? Well, I know a refrigerator part. You bought a refrigerator part on eBay. How long ago? Months ago. Months ago. When's the last time you bought something on Amazon? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Josh, last time you bought something on Amazon? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Zat, what week. have you bought on eBay, though? Nothing. Ever. Ever. Never. And eBay's owned by PayPal. You can still make money on eBay, but I'm just going... You really want to, you know, Joel Salcher, my first mentor, said the worst thing in life is growing old and realize you got good at the wrong thing. Imagine you got good at eBay instead of Amazon. Who do you think's got more potential in the long run? You get it. Um, one of the people that's, they're not yet teaching, but they're flying in to teach. He's one of my followers. He then went, was trained by Liz, who's one of the trainers. He made 253 in, in one lightning sale on Amazon in one day, 253 grand with like 10, 15% margin. So he made like 20 to 50 grand in one day. That's harder to do on eBay just because there's not the velocity of people. It's possible, it's possible. There are people, somebody said they haven't bought on eBay in a decade. Somebody said, boy, you boring, Ty. Okay, I gotta pull this guy up. This is my new thing. I just gotta know, am I actually boring or you can't follow? Let me see this guy. What's his thing, Zach? Um, Zainab. I N. Zainab. Underscore cookie. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cookie. Okay, I don't even know it. I'm not even gonna roast this person. It's not even over age. Okay, we'll skip this one. That <laughs> I ain't even going there. Um. Somebody said, not again, ha, 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 Yesterday I found a dude that was, yeah. Somebody said, roast him. <laughs> people love when I, you know what happened? I People were like writing nasty things on Twitter, so I started roasting people, and then it disappeared. I did not get, I roasted people so hard. Or I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't roast them hard. I didn't get one person to leave a nasty comment for like 30, 60 days. 
You can, if you smash people, you know, a lot of people are kind of like bullies. They hide behind comments. So if you bring it to the light, they're not really very confident people. So I wish sometimes I had more. I was having fun on that whole thing. Dre, who cuts my hair, he's like, dude, I would wake up every day being like, I got to read some roasts. And he's like, why'd you stop? I'm like, I didn't stop. I just, there's nothing left to roast. Um, yeah. Where did Zany and Steven go? Who is Zany? Zany? Did I ever someone around, have someone around me named Zane? I feel like I purposely wouldn't have someone around me who went by Zany. Yo! Somebody said Hooters and Bojangles. <laughs> Hooters and Bojangles? That's a that H and B Zach would like. Um, highs and boners. <laughs> Somebody said Zach Rohio said, I love the roasting. 17 motivational things talked about fighting back. What is the difference between crash course and the four month full program? Well, four month, the crash course was a 10 day program, but it's not out anymore. I let people in and you guys lost, it was like, I closed it like three days ago. So now you got the full program, four month certification. At the end, give you a certification. It's not a college degree. It just says certifying you went through. We have a, a test at the end. Some people fail it. It's a real test. We have our social media marketing agency certification some people fail it and then they got i'm like you can cheat in the answers like you can look through the we put a timer on it i think so um ty roast me please ty how can i make three thousand a month you got to add value to three thousand people's lives that's a good way to think about it that's a really simple way to think about it how do you make whatever number how how, how do you make 3,000 a month? How do you make 3 million a month? A good rule of thumb, it's not exact, is if you add value to 3,000 people's lives per month, you can safely say in general that you can make a dollar per month to people you're adding value to. I've seen that. It's, it's actually more of an accurate number than you think. How do you make 3 million a month? You gotta add value to 3 million people. And value is a subjective term, like the Kardashians make money, and a lot of people don't like the Kardashians, but the people who do like the Kardashians get value from them. And Kylie Jenner sold 10, 20 million of lipstick kits in one, 50, one hour on her birthday or whatever, because 10 or 15 million people got value from what she did. She probably got more than a dollar per, but the, you get the gist of it, you see what I'm saying? So the reason I like social commerce, social e-commerce, is you can reach so many people. Like look how many people on my YouTube channel I've, I've reached so far. I can see, I got this little YouTube analytics thingy. I go in here, I go to my analytics, I go to watch time, I set it since 2015. When I started, I'm at 1.8 billion minutes watched. So that's 1.8 billion. Now, people watch more than one minute, so, but you go to views here, you have 555 million. So let's say half those people are individuals. That's 225 million people have watched my stuff. Even if only a fifth of them are individual people, it's still, you know, 111 million people have gotten some value enough to watch it. Do you see what I'm saying? And so that's how you make that kind of money. And um, Ty, I love you, no homo. Ty is the real deal. Thank you. Somebody wrote in German, geschlappen Kujuk. What does that mean? It doesn't even sound German. Um, I'm bored. It's vacation, and we are learning like we are in school. See, if I do too much teaching, people are like, Ty, it's too much teaching. And if I do too much joking around, people are like, get with the program. You're, you're talking too much. You know a good... My favorite little story, Aesop's Fable, there was a man and his son, they got to sell their stuff. They're going into town with their donkey and the boy's riding on the donkey. Some people walk by and he, they hear him whispering, what a disrespectful son. He rides the donkey while his dad walks. So the son feels bad, gets off the donkey. The father gets on the donkey. They go a little further. People walk by and whisper, what kind of man, a grown strong man, makes his little nine-year-old son walk. So they feel bad. So they get off the donkey. Both of them are just leading it. People walk by, whisper, look at these two idiots. They have a donkey and they're not even using it. 
So now they both get on the donkey. They go a little further and PETA comes by. Some animal activists and they go, look at these two people torturing this animal. This donkey's just going and the donkey's way down by these two people. So finally they get to the town, the bridge into the town, and the father and the son are carrying the donkey. But as they go across the bridge, they get, it's a little too heavy. They trip and fall and fall off the bridge into the water and everybody, they lose everything. And the moral of the story is you can't please all the people all the time. And that's what I've learned. So I just do whatever I want to do. And the people who love it, love it. And the people who don't love it, go find some other social media person that they love. Some people love, you know, this person and this person, and this person. That, that's, it's, it's like... TV channels. There used to be, when my mom was a little girl in the 60s, she told me like, Ty, there was three TV stations, ABC, NBC, and CBS or whatever. Then you fast forward into the 80s and the 90s. Zach, when did MTV come out? 82. 82, MTV, new channel about music. When did ESPN come out? 78. Late 70s. So then by the time you get into the year 2000, people have satellite dishes, they have 800 channels. But now the world's changed. You know how many websites there are? 100 bucks. How many websites are there? $100. Not web pages, because there's billions of those. How many websites are there? Counting all their pages as just one. What's the number? Who knows? 100 bucks to whoever does this. First, let me look it up because I haven't even looked at the newest numbers. It's insane. There used to be a thousand TV channels on satellite. Now, how many? I'm just Googling it. Are there? 100 bucks is the first person I see that answers. I'm going to go. Yeah, I think this is right. As of 27. Man, what's up with Google showing some old ass articles at the top? Google is not always right because. <laughs> Here we go. All right, here's as of January 2019. All right, who's gonna get this one? Five billion, no, two billion, no, 500 million, colder. 1.94 billion, a little warmer, but still cold. 987 million, cold. 127 billion, way cold. 127 billion websites, no. <laughs> That's like 10 websites per person. 599 billion, seven billion. Colder, I went to like, whoa. I'm just, okay, this is gonna to take too long. Anybody who's even remotely close? One billion, closer, 644 million, colder. 1.8, getting very warm, getting warmer, warmer, warmer. What else, come on, 300 billion, 300, this dude, you're icy. 1.8 is close, but not there. There. Jose Jacob, uh, okay, Jose underscore Jacob 08. 1.5 billion. This website has a counter, and it says it's at 1518. 1.5 1 billion, 18,207,412. That's a bullshit counter. There's no way nobody, somebody knows it's down to 412. Anyway, but. 100 bucks. We got five minutes left. I got to go. So is that uh, Instagram? Yes. You have, you have exactly six hours left to get in. Go to tylopez.com. You can see it on the home page there. It's right in the middle. Or you can just put in tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. At midnight California time, you can no longer buy. The buy button won't work. There'll just be a wait list. If I open it up again, we'll email people on the wait list. You will miss out. I want to give people who catch trends the head start, man. Jose said one million. Yeah, well, your friend Jose is a bad estimator. Don't be playing that game. You know the game where you like guess how many jelly beans there are? Don't bring Jose. Are we good to end? Oh, we got to go at $400. Let's give two people 200 bucks. No, let's give one person 400. It's Friday. Who can use 400 bucks to go travel the world, go travel the club, go travel wherever it is you go. Go hang out with Zach with some H&B. 
H and B on me. Hotels and booze. You want someone to H and B on you? <laughs> what does that even mean, Zach? Zach is throwing codes out. He wants somebody to H and B on him. <laughs> I didn't say that. What do you think that could be? All right, Josh has something devious in his eye. Look at Josh's face. All right. Um, the final, final. What were the three trans? Oh, the three trends. You missed it. You're going to have to rewind and watch the replay. What if your art niche is art? Man, you better get on Amazon unless you are like Pablo Picasso and you have a built-in audience. I think it's so good of a place to sell. Okay, we got... 400 million bucks, let's go, I mean $400, sorry, got a little confused. $400, 400 million Thai bucks. What is the value of a shroot buck? Good question. 100,000 shroot bucks is equal to one penny or whatever. What was it, 10,000? Yeah, um, like Someone said, I got bills to play, Kama Lawler. Here we go. What picture, who are the two people on the picture I showed at the very beginning of this call? I'm rewarding the people who've been watching since the beginning. See, watch what I do. I got 400 bucks going out. Ready, set, go. How much time we got left? Instagram? One minute, nine seconds. Don't forget to go to tylobas.com slash Amazon Live before midnight, California time. Who, what did I have on the homepage of this whole call? Two people, I had two people. Who were they playing tennis in weird white shorts? Your dad and mom, no. Got it on Instagram. Let me see. Okay, Instagram, Saul, S-N-C-H-Z, Jeff Be No, you got it wrong. You said Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, no. No, oh man, I thought you had it. I got it on Twitter, Twitter's lighting up with it. Uh, let me see here. Damn. But there is somebody on Instagram that got it. You, there is? Yeah. Okay, Zach saw him, where? Uh, let's see, Outspoken V. Let me see it. All right, Outspoken V. Bezos and Gates. Was Bezos and Gates. Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Outspoken V. We'll DM you $400. Congratulations. But more important than me giving you 400 bucks is giving you more than $400 of value that you can use. Tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. Go here and at least check out this page before midnight. Then it's done. Instagram. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.